Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today we're going to have a clucking good time with a chicken wing throwdown. We're going to experiment with different ways of drying the wings before cooking to see which creates the crispiest grilled chicken wings. Are you ready to learn something? If so, follow me and let's turn up the tasty. Our chicken wing videos are some of our fan favorites, and we know that you like weird chicken wing facts. So here's a new one. Super Bowl Sunday is a big day for wings. So big that Americans consume enough wings just on Super Bowl Sunday to circle the earth three times. Said another way, that's about four wings per US citizen on Super Bowl alone. That's a lot of wings. Now, we love our crispy chicken wings, and we've always just removed them from the pack seasoned them and gotten them right on the grill. But today, we're gonna try a little experiment to see if any of these different methods results in even crispier wings. So, let's talk about that. Right over here, we have let these wings air dry on a rack overnight in the refrigerator, and then we're gonna season them. These, right here, we're gonna pat dry with a paper towel, otherwise they've come right out of the package. Over here, this will be like our control, if you will, we're not gonna do anything additional to dry them other than season them. So let's get started. So today we're gonna to season these with our Jojo rub. This is a simple rub we created ourselves using common ingredients found in most kitchens, probably yours too. We made a little video about it and you can find that on our YouTube channel. But first of all, let's go ahead and get these dried. Okay, again, I've never tried this at home. This is just a little experiment, but we're gonna go ahead and pick these up, get it right in here in some paper towels and just pat them dry. We're gonna do that for all four wings. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I'm not putting this down on a wet plate. Seems like that would impact it. So just gonna use this towel to just dry off a little bit of that plate there. And next, we're gonna go ahead and get these seasoned. Now that these are all fully seasoned, it's time to get them on the grill. Follow me. In our other grilled chicken wing video, we used a low heat. That's something we're gonna change here. We're actually going to use a very high heat. And the way we're going to achieve that is by using something called the vortex. It's a little cone-shaped piece of metal that goes in the center of the pit. And we're gonna place the wings around the exterior. The purpose of that vortex is to really bring up that temperature. We wanna see a temperature that's about 500 degrees. So this has been heating now for uh, a few minutes. As we can see, our coals are mostly turning white. It's really hot over the top. So now, let's get these wings on the grill. So next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna close up this lid like this. We're gonna make sure these vents right here are wide open. I also have the vents at the bottom of this wide open. If you have trouble getting your grill to temperature, one little trick you can do when using the Vortex is you can leave your lid cracked just a little bit. That will help bring up the temperature. So these wings are gonna take uh, about 30 to 40 minutes to get fully cooked and we're gonna be flipping them every 10 minutes. So I'm gonna grab a beer now and be right back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. I got a bottle of cheap domestic beer and a can koozie of one of my least favorite baseball teams, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is that we're making crispy wings. Let's go ahead and give these a flip. One thing I notice is that they all have very similar colors. I'm not really seeing any color differences. Seems like maybe this section of the grill is a little hotter, maybe, just because we're getting those grill marks. So what I'll do is, when I put this lid back on, I'm gonna move the vent to the other side of the grill, try to balance it out. So the neat thing about this Vortex is it kicks up the heat 
up here and it circulates around the exterior of the pit. It really creates a very similar effect to like an air fryer, only it gets that smoky goodness direct from the grill. So we'll be back in another 10 minutes, but while we're waiting on this, I wanna take you guys just across that tree line over there so you can see what's on the other side. Follow me. on here just like that now one of the things that I didn't mention earlier is before you cook your food you want to make sure you have a clean grill grate don't use a wire brush if you're looking for an alternative we recently published a video on how to clean your grill grate without a wire brush it's a very important step because if you don't clean it you'll have last week's food on tonight's meal and that is no bueno so make sure you always start with a clean grill grate I'll be right back I don't know if you guys can hear that at home, but we can actually hear the fat rendering out of those chicken wings as they cook, hitting the bottom of that hot pit. Don't want to get too close though, it's real hot. We're gonna give these another 10 minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, so these have been cooking for about 45 minutes. It's been about 15 minutes since our last flip. The reason why is because this thing really ate through that charcoal much faster than I expected it to. I can tell just by holding my hand over that it's no longer 500 degrees as it was when we started, but let's see how they sound. Yeah, we'll throw this down here. Get that out of the way. So here we have our control group. Here's some of that nice crisp on there. Over here are our pet dry wings. Boy, those have an even better sound to them. And over here we have our dried overnight in the fridge. Let's see how those sound. Oh, those sound great. I think it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how these things taste. I'm gonna pull them off the grill. All right, starting right here with the control. They look crispy. Let's give it a taste. It's a good wing. Nice crispy wing. You get some of that flavor from the Jojo rub coming right through and still has a ton of moisture in it. Next up, here is our Pat Dry Group. Let's see how it tastes. That skin pulled away a little bit, didn't bite as cleanly as I expected right there, but actually a little bit chewier than that one. Not quite as crispy, it sounded like it was. It's a great wing, but for the additional work of patting these things dry, I really don't notice much difference against our control group over here, which were not patted dry at all. Let's go over here and try our dried overnight ones. Let's give these a try. Now that sounds much crispier, just tearing the skin away. You can hear, hear that crispiness. Wow. That's just a great wing. Super crispy. I know it's gonna take a little extra work um, to kind of meal plan and put them in the fridge the night before. I know I'm terrible at meal planning, but if you have the time, the winner is clear to me. These ones that were patted dry and sat in the refrigerator overnight. Now, if you don't have the time to make, to make that happen, I would suggest just not patting them dry at all because these are just as crispy as these right over here. Um, I don't really see any additional difference for the uh, additional work. Now, I had never tried either drying the night before or patting down, so this is all new to me, but I think where I have the time, they're gonna go in the fridge the night before. Everybody, thanks for checking out our little chicken wing experiment, and if you like this video, you know the drill. Go ahead and hit that big thumbs up like button, or even better, subscribe to our channel for future updates. 
Our motto here at Red Meat Lover is cooking meat made easy, and that's just what you'll find in every single video. So if you like eating delicious crispy chicken wings or any kind of meat, you're in the right place. I'll see you next time.